Hello guys! So if you have been watching my channel for a while now, you know that I have started my small business in July 15th. After launching my online shop, one of the things that I have been trying to do is keep the minimum stock possible for me so that the investment in the business that is not taking over yet or blowing up is the lowest as possible for me. In the last video you saw me ordering some stickers and having like some big news that I have to share with you and prepping and stuff and you might be thinking girl have you gone mad? <laughs> Did you say that you wanted to keep like a low stock and like you know print on demand while you were like getting ordered in the hopefully daily basis which is ha hasn't happened yet and while that still remains the same strategy that I'm trying to implement in my business the news is I have been actually applying to a few art markets here in Berlin and I will be taking part now on September 24th in the Nari Summer Market here in Berlin so this video is actually me preparing for that first artist alley art market maybe you can learn something of what I am I doing so come join me, let's start the video So pretty!
this is how they look. As you can see, I already stick one, and this is the one that I'm keeping for me to like test it and you know stick it some places and take pictures of it. This is the size of the size of the sticker. You can see it's like it has no reflections on it. And yeah, they like some colors were like too uh, too dark. But they're pretty fun, like. Let's test this one actually. Oh, where's my bottle? My water bottle. I'm going to find my water bottle. Bottle? Water bottle? You know, the sticky. Now, you can keep company to my other. Stickers. I don't have many because I don't really have many stickers. I hope one day I can build like a huge collection from other artists. Like this one is from Maria Hesse. She's an Spanish artist. Chef Kiss, her work. And this one is from Rain. Also, she has amazing work too. And now this one's mine. So this is your gentle reminder to drink some water. So in August 31, I received the confirmation for my first art market. The story behind it is that one of the things that I want to do in order to expand the audience of my small business and to reach new people and making connections here in Berlin, meeting new artists as well, was to start applying to some local art markets. So this is kind of like in my opinion, a good starting point. It will be just one day, it's on Sunday, it's only on the afternoon, it will be from 2 o'clock until 9 p.m. I believe. So I believe that maybe for a first experience and to see how things go and how I feel during engaging with people that I don't know and taking sales. For that, I believe that this might be a good start so that it will be maybe something chilly and that I can take it slow. On the downside of this story, because I want to be completely transparent with you, and the thing is that it's actually an erotic market. So, while well, I am like totally fine with it and I really can't wait to actually go and see how things go, 
and what they do with the event. I have to be honest with myself and tell you that my work might not be a good fit for the context of this event because I don't do erotic art, but nonetheless, I hope that the art itself speaks somehow and maybe catch someone's attention. I have very, very low expectations. I'm not gonna be lying to you. There might be a scenario where things simply don't go well and I don't make any sales and I cannot even not recover the investment that I'm making, but not even recover the table fee which is 45 euros. I believe it's not that high for other markets that I have been seeing here. But yeah, that's actually one way that it can go. I hope it's not the way that it goes. I actually hope that... I'm not, expect I'm not expecting to sold out or anything, but I, am, I would love that maybe some sales actually happen and at least, at least the minimum is to recover the table, the booth fee. So with all of that in mind, I have been actually preparing myself for a very slow stock of products that I'm going to take. For instance, I am not taking every single print that I have on my online store. I am taking only um, some that I know that, I, that have sell and some that I really like and that I believe that like mm, the best represents of my work. I am actually taking like three copies of each print. It's not that much as you can see. One of the things that you saw me prepping also was the stickers, which they are also not gonna be a huge stock of them. First of all, because it was the first time that I was trying two manufacturers, they were different, and I was afraid to make like a huge investment in something that I don't know if I'm going to like the quality of the materials, of the colors are going to be well printed. So I actually ordered like very, very little of each, like some of them are like five of each and one is actually, two of them are actually um, 10 of each because it was like the minimum that I could order from that manufacturer. I hope that maybe those do a little bit better stickers I have heard, that they always do better in these places also because they're like the cheapest kind of products that people find and it's like easier to like buy more when you are in this type of events. And all of that on top that is actually not a long event, it's not even going to be the entire day, it's only the afternoon, and that I don't know how many people are going to be attending. So I believe that keeping things on the safe side of the road for me might be a smart move. In this case, I still need to build up my setup booth and take some pictures to see how I want to accommodate stuff because it's my first time doing this and I have even made a sketch but until you don't see it you won't know for sure if things work or if they don't I guess I also need to finish and assemble my brand sign because I didn't want to like spend too much money on this I wanted to like buy the little amount of things that I could have so I only got a tablecloth some basket and print racks so that I can display things I requested because the organizers allow you to request that where I am standing has some wall in the back so I am hoping because I have no confirmation of this yet as I was saying, I requested wall space because my hope is that I can then hang some prints around me and those will catch up people's attention from the distance, which I don't know. I don't think the space is that big, but still we need to like try to climb for the highs. With that in mind, I need to build the signs, I need to build the price tags, I need to put up together the setup and trying to fit things, see if they fit. We got a lot to do today. I have been preparing for the last two weeks for this. Of course, among everything else that I have been doing is... You know, I, I like this part So I have this pencil sketch that I did the other day where I was like try to list the things that I was having and how can I build it. 
Um, the space is actually 1.25 square meters, so I'm not exactly sure how much the table we take from that space. But well, yeah, this is like a rough planning for me to like guide now when we assemble it. I'm going to digitalize this because I want to have it around with, with me in a more clean way than this. This is just like, you know, rough, rough pencil sketch. So, sketch is finally done. I kinda color coded so that these are like the things I got that are belonging to the table or like, you know, information brand related. And then this will be the artworks. And well, me and my husband, because he's going to help me that day. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, now we have a sketch of the table. Kinda how I hope I can arrange things. We'll see this if this is actually possible. So I have been collecting like a bunch of cardboard um, leftovers mainly to use them on the packaging of my prints but i will i actually want to see if i can craft now a name sign and some uh, pricing signs to put them where the products are going to be on display so that people can clearly see what they what they priced and don't have to be asking me <laughs> We're trying to make it easy for them and for me. So what I'm basically gonna try to do is to now cut one of these sides and try to paste it like this on top of the other so that they have like they became the full image of my logo. This is actually my new logo that I've designed in the past and that you will now find in my business cards and pretty much everywhere. So I'm, I'm planning to paste this, put a cardboard base on the back, cut it, all the outlines of this because I don't want it to be like white square on top of the tablecloth which is it's pretty much like this color also. So I'm trying to like having a more organic um, break shape in front of my table. So this is what you're going to watch me do right now. I'm going to try to assemble this. I hope it actually <laughs> comes great. We'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's start. So these are two of the things where I'm going to be putting a couple of prints. I need to like put the price, you know, like the information. This would be this one. I believe it has, it has a good size. But then I need to figure out if I want to paste it here because it fits best for me to just use these leftovers from the square prints.
I have cut down some of the signs. I tried laminating these two. I thought that it would be a good idea to cut this by hand because I'm pretty handy with the scissors, but I'm not loving how they are turning on. I don't know if maybe the scissor that I have here is too thick and I will need a more thin one and delicate or if it's maybe the paper that is a thicker paper where I pasted it so that it was like, you know, consistent. I don't know how to say it, but it's like all of the fuzzy edges and these havens when I turn the scissor, it's just scratch there. So yeah, I try then to like, well, maybe do this uh, and it won't be noticing because it won't be eating the color. Mm, but I'm not sure. I think that I will, I will let it sink and see, or if I just, you know, put them like this, like a squared stuff and just hanging like that. I really wanted to have like a cute shape, but I'm not loving how this is turning out, so yeah. So I'm gonna have lunch because I'm already hungry and I want to start editing this vlog because it's already long. I have a lot of material. Yeah, I don't want to make it that long, so yeah.